another get ready and my camera's on one battery. Why is the back glowing like heaven? Let's see here. Coachella. If a brand was paying me to go for free, I would go. If I was having to spend my own money on that, I would not go. It feels like a forced four day bender, you know what I'm saying? Which could be fun with the right people, but I feel like it's just not up my alley. Okay, what's going on with, this, with the lighting? All right, I think I'm going to irrevocably, define irrevocably in a way that cannot be changed, reversed, or recovered. Okay, I think I'm going to irrevocably leave social media, <laughs> but it's just like, why do I have social media? I have an Instagram and never post on Instagram. I have a TikTok. I'm rarely on TikTok. I'm only there to catch up on what my friends have sent me, you know? And it's just not worth the brain rot, okay, of scrolling through those apps, seeing what people are barking about for no reason because they have no recollection of what the real world is like. It's scary. Like, TikTok is a more family-friendly version of Reddit, for real. And it's freaky, dude. Like, you know how they say like, oh, TikTok comments are brutal, but Instagram comments are like, your worst nightmare. Real dude, some of these like Instagram comments, I feel like we should send people to death row over their social media comments. Cause like, how are you so deranged? How are you so violently damaged? You know what I'm saying? And just okay with spewing something like that? Like I get it, it's not real cause it's social media, but also there's a lot, there's some realness behind a comment like that, you know? And one thing I don't have any wiggle room for is social media when it comes to children. And that's, you know, and that's its own like thing, okay? Like the internet, you know, the internet when it comes to children. I'm very passionate, not passionate, but it's like, I can't sleep at night, you know what I'm saying? And I wish that I was being dramatic about that. I lose so much sleep over the state of the world in regards to this and also like this. You know, I feel, I don't know. It really like, I don't know. I, I can't even speak, I'm like speechless over the fact that, you know, stuff like this exists. We just have to be like, oh yeah. And a lot of like Instagram comments on like reels or mainly reels reflect how common it is for people, especially men to say certain things or even joke about certain things where it's like, it's like actually not a joke and you deserve to die and you should die. We should castrate you and also maybe kill you, for real. I don't even care that that sounds extreme of me. I think that any adult, any adult, any adult who has ever had a thought in regards to should be killed. <laughs> like, and I'm laughing because I really feel strongly about this, but I'm serious. I am so serious. At, at the minimum, you should be castrated and put into solitary confinement, for real. If you wanna live, if you wanna keep your life, solitary confinement, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't think there's a way to come back from that. I think it's a real violent and demonic bacteria in your brain, for real. Um, anyway, how do we get on that topic? I don't know. I feel like if you leave me on talking for long enough, I will always end up at that topic because everything in my life boils down to caring so much about that um, to the point where I know like when I get successful and I am making more money than I need, I will be donating to sting operations like that. Or like, just, I can't, I can't. I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore because it's just so, anyway, Coachella. <laughs> Coachella is something that I've always watched online, you know, like everybody does. Have I ever felt FOMO? No. Will I ever go if it's not free for me? No. I think the best part about Coachella would probably be like the putting together cute outfits and stuff. I feel like that's the fun part is seeing how creative and fun people get with their outfits. But the walking around for 12 hours in a desert, inhaling sand and dust, and paying like $20 for a water or a meal, keep it, you know what I'm saying, keep it. I'm re-watching all the Iron Man movies, and I just watched number two last night, and it's, I'm just reminded of why I love Iron Man above all else. Iron Man is the Marvel universe. Like, my Iron Man is at the core of that universe. And honestly, not just because he died for everything, but just because he is the core of humor, he is the core of intelligence, of wit, of planning, of designing. He is the core of everything Marvel to me, like genuinely. There is not a better superhero 
or character or person or actor, Robert Downey Jr. just beyond outdid himself, in my opinion, for real. Like, I'm looking at some other characters in the Marvel Universe, I'm like, you don't even come close. You literally don't even come close. Also, it's so weird that <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> is like Pepper Potts. I don't know. Is she? Wait, I'm tripping. Yeah, that is so weird. That is so weird because now she's like freaky. <laughs> like, she did such a great job bringing Pepper Potts to life and being Iron Man's woman. I don't know. I just feel like love her character. It's such a grounding character for Tony Stark. Don't even get me started on the new generation of Avengers. Like, I have not seen the new uh, She-Hulk or whatever. I didn't watch that, am not going to watch that. My brother is like really on the Marvel train. We always talk about that. We bonded over that for a while. And so he literally told me, he was like, I'm cringing and almost dying watching She-Hulk. And I was like, enough said. Say less, that's all I need to hear, keep it. <laughs> I take a lot of guidance from him in regards to what I watch. Like we bond a lot over Star Wars too. And he's been trying to get me to watch the, what's it called? <sighs> oh, the Clone Wars. And I literally can't fathom getting into it because it's a cartoon, but he says it fills in so many gaps for the series, like the movie series. And I'm like, I can't, I can't pull myself together to do it. If I ever have two weeks off from life, I will get into it. You know what I'm saying? But taking time away from my productivity or my life to watch a cartoon is like the last thing I want to do. What I am loving is The Mandalorian. Obviously, John Favreau. He's the one who directed the Iron Man movies too. Like, if I were gonna have anyone direct anything that I produce, I would pick John. John, thank you. He has never failed us. Whoops. Oh, also, they just put the, um, what's it called? Planet of the Apes movies on Disney+. Plus. That is next on my watch list. Because I saw the first one. I don't know if I saw the second one, but I think there's a third also. And the Planet of the Apes movies literally break my heart and make me sad, but they are so good. So yeah, those are next. Okay, I'm done getting ready. My hair needs to be shaved off and I need to grow new hairs. I'll fix that at some point soon. Do I have plans on reading any books? Not as of right now. Will I get into any books? Probably, because I feel like a lazy bum. See ya.